Hello, today we're going to make a video about these cookies. They're pumpkin spice cookies. See, it says pumpkin spice down here on the bottom. Uh, they're, they're made by Libby's. Uh, they're, well, they're made by Nestle Toll House Cookies, but they have Libby's pumpkin in them, which is like some of the best pumpkin stuff. I can make a, a homemade pumpkin cake, and that's the kind of pumpkin that I use in that. But they're 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 the ones that you just store in your refrigerator, the little square ones. Uh, those. These are baked. look like they have little white chocolate chips in them they're funny shaped though they start out square and they're kind of square afterwards see <coughs> they're not see the bottom of them is nice and brown first time I baked them I baked them on 350 which is what I bake everything on uh they kind of burn them to me, it burned them. I got them a little too brown. Uh, did it burn it to you, Jeffrey? A little bit, yes. Uh, I have already tried one. And they're, they're really good. They kind of taste like, um, like a pumpkin cake. They remind you of a pumpkin cake or pumpkin pie, I guess. I don't really like pumpkin pie that much. They're really good when you open a pack. You can stick your nose down in there and smell. I had to have a drink. Uh, if you stick your nose down in the pack and smell, it kind of gives you that. Uh, it's a pumpkin smell. Kind of like, it reminds you of fall. Uh, I like to eat pumpkin stuff during the fall. So, yeah, but they're really good. Uh, one to ten, I'd have to give them a, a ten. They're really good. Or a nine, because they're, they're, they're really iffy cookies. You kind of waste like four cookies trying to make them. Um, trying to see how your you got to see how your oven is going to do with them because i just pulled them out of the refrigerator stuck them on the pan sprayed it first and then stuck them on the pan put them in the oven for seven minutes and then seven minutes later they were almost black at 350. uh but at 325 they turned out like this and it said on the pack on the directions it says to preheat and I didn't read this before it says to preheat the oven to 325 break along pre-scored lines place 12 cookies two inches apart on an ungreased baking sheet bake 12 to 13 minutes or until golden brown uh, so yeah but they're really good So, <laughs> per one cookie, it has 80 milligrams of, or 80 calories, uh, 2 grams of saturated fat, 55 milligrams of sodium, and 6 grams of sugars. So, if you're a diabetic, you better stay away from these cookies. Um, but, I mean, you can, I like them because you can just break off what you want to bake, and then fold the pack up and just lay it in the fridge like that and it's fine it's not gonna go bad but they're really good I would recommend you buy them if you like to if you if you've not tried the refrigerated cookies before you should try them they're really good um, I have tried the sugar cookies which we put M&Ms on top of or 
the peanut butter ones, which we put M&Ms on top of, just for looks. So, uh, I was telling Jeffrey today I'm going to make a video this Christmas, during Christmas time, when my mom makes her uh, candy pecans. They're really good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, always smile. Always make somebody else smile. And always share the love. Thank you. I forgot to add on there that I did not, I'm not being paid to uh, try these cookies or nothing like that. I did pay for them out of my own pocket. I think they were like $3, so uh, give them a try. Thank you.